Okay guys, everybody is wondering if I was ever going to upgrade the GPS on my 3DR Solo. This is the RevB board uh, from 3DR Solo and I have been rocking the uh, Rev A board in here for over a year and never had any problems but I am kind of tired of waiting for satellites on certain days so I figured what the heck this was sent to me a while ago by another YouTuber and uh, I've done the cardboard mod to this. I put out that video. It's got like 20,000 views now. It works very well, but uh, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and install the Rev B board. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is take a knife and you're going to pop these caps off. There are four caps. You just kind of stick your knife up in here and you pop these caps loose. And I probably have to do this with two hands, but I'll show you what it looks like when we're done here. Give me one sec, guys. Okay guys, the cap is now off. As you can see how it slides on here, there are four uh, prongs and all you basically have to do is put your knife in there where you see the marks are and prop up and it'll pop this right off. So there's four clips on there. Now you got to take out all the screws all the way around, two here, two here, and uh, then you'll be able to pull the tray out. So let me uh, loosen these screws. I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, so once you get the screws out all the way around the top, guys, all you have to do is pull this up, and there's a couple clips down here that hold this in tight. Just make sure those get, uh, pull those out so they come loose, and then you're going to pull up and pull backwards, because you got to get the battery feed out. So once you get that, you can access the GPS board. So we're going to unplug it, and I'm going to show you guys the original mod I did. Okay, guys, so that was the GPS wire that's connected to here. Just unclip it, and then you can unscrew those two screws that you can see there, and then pull off the copper, and you'll see my cardboard mod is underneath this. So give me one sec. Right, so there's the Rev A board. I pulled the copper off the top. There's the Rev A board, and we're going to uh, pull those two screws, and then you can see all you got to do is pull it out, put in the new one, put the screws back in, and then... Uh, start doing the job backwards <laughs> all right there's the rev a there's the rev b and there's the cardboard mod i did to the bottom stuck to the copper so we're going to change them out hey guys rev a board is out uh, rev b board has been installed it still has the cardboard mod done to it this is going to be my first time powering up the solo with the uh new gps just came out powered it on I wasn't able to get any satellites inside the house so I came outside to see what's gonna happen here solo setup focus in here wait for these two to start communicating okay they are communicating I am at zero satellites I'm gonna back up a little bit still sitting on zero let me focus in here all right zero and clear skies I do have a tree above me but not too bad it should pick up satellites even with the tree there. Hey guys, took about two minutes and I'm up to eight satellites, which isn't too bad. Let's see if you guys can see that. Focus in. There you go. I got eight satellites. Um, it did pick them up pretty fast, but you know I want to restart everything again and uh, see what it's doing. It definitely took a minute. Now that was the first time it's communicated with the Rev A or the Rev B board, as you can see. The GPS light is flicking green, letting me know that it is connected to satellites. We have green. Green is good. I now have nine satellites. Let's see how many you can actually get just sitting here like this. Well, we are still sitting steady between eight and nine, which is fine. That's about what I would get with the Rev A. Um, like I said, once I took off, there we go, 10, 11. So it's jumping up there. Um, but once I got above these trees, it would probably really pick up satellites. So we're sitting at 11. That's plenty. I think this GPS works fine. And it just went negative. I don't like that. I don't like that it went negative. Searching for GPS may take a few minutes. That's not a good sign. Not once it says ready to fly. Back to negative 10. Negative 11. Push to start motors. All right, well... We'll, uh, we'll have to give this a flight test when I get a chance. I can fly this manually, so I'm not worried about whether the GPS disconnects or not. Um, I'll take it to an area when I go to fly it for testing that I know very well. In case it randomly decides to disconnect, I can fly it back manually. And uh, But I think for right now it's working. Um, I, think it's, I think it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll give it a few more shots. It is very cold out here. I can see my own breath, so... But uh, it's kicking, so 11 satellites and holding. 
All right, guys, that was the uh, 3DR Solo Rev B mod. Let's uh, upgrade a GPS. We'll uh, find out how it functions when I get a chance. See you guys later.